Hi, everybody. Hey, it's early March. Is it early March? Uh, it's not It's not quite mid-March, but we're a third of the way through March. And a big thing is happening. I'm going outside my house. Can you see them? Without my boots. Just wearing regular shoes. Everything is at that mucky, awful, drab state around here. Uh, I don't know if you can... I want to show you, you know, a little snow left here and there in my front yard. Everything else, though, is pretty gray and mucky, mucked up, as I used to say, mucked up. Still uh, frosty. You know, I couldn't cut into the soil yet for anything, nor would it grow. But at least it's warm enough now. It's in the high 30s right now. It's going to go into the 40s today. We're going to be in the 60s later this week. We were once a couple weeks ago, too. And as you look down the, the street, you can see there's, you know, still some snow. And uh, this is when all of the litter and trash shows up that's been blowing around all winter. I hate that. I just hate that. But you get out and clean it up, and then it becomes a lovely place again. And I wanted to talk about how things get mucked up. And they get um, dirty and muddy, and they get really covering what they usually are, right? Let me put my, I'll show you, put my little stand up here so that it's the right height, and turn on my recording lights, and then I can continue. But think about that for a minute about how, there we go, about how things go through these terrible, dirty, messy, ugly stages until they get to be the beautiful things that they are. You know, it's true of our land right now. It's probably true of our nation right now. We're going through a terribly mucked up, yucky, veiled, covered stage as something new, hopefully, and I believe, is going to grow out of that and be beautiful. So, kind of reminds me a little bit of the story of the ugly duckling, you know that? This um, mother duck was sitting on a bunch of eggs, one looked different from the others. She still sat on it, gestated the eggs. Everybody hatched, and they were all beautiful. Uh, ducklings except for one that was really really not like the others and felt that she was really ugly and other ducks thought that she was ugly but then of course later on as she grows and she's brought up as a duck an ugly duckling later on we find out she's a beautiful swan I love that story uh, it lets me know that what I think is uh, ugly or mucked up may be beautiful to someone else. I'm sure to the flowers that are starting to work their way to the the surface that, you know, having it not be frozen and having it just be kind of hard, crusty mud is probably a good thing. They see that as a positive thing if they, if they are consciously aware of it. But, you know, it kind of goes that way with life. The things that we see as as bad things or ugly things or mucked up things to someone else can be really beautiful and even to ourselves at another point when we change our perspective we could be going through really really hard times thinking this is the worst thing that could ever happen and out of it could come some unforeseen grace some gift from God some something we couldn't even imagine I think about that in terms of our nation, of course. I think about it in terms of all of this unrest that's going on around um, race inequality here, around voter suppression, black voter suppression. Uh, I think of it around um, politics. I think of it in my own life. Um, you know, I could be feeling uh, very down about getting older and having not being who I used to be physically. You know, I'm not uh, the athlete that I was in my 20s or 30s, certainly, among other things. I'm not the, I'm not the musician. I'm not the singer that I was uh, even in my 40s or 50s because I'm just not 
not doing that anymore. Could I get back probably some of it, but also let's honor where I am, I keep telling myself. Honor where I am and the gifts of what I do have now. Maybe perspective, maybe wisdom. Depends on which side of my decisions you're on, whether or not you think I'm wise. Um, but, you know, it's it means changing, always. Changing, uh, being open to something that we don't like uh, or that we think is ugly uh, or mucked up. Being open to seeing how that might be. Just maybe, maybe God's bringing something new and wonderful and beautiful out of that. Um, whether it's a, a conflict in your life or in the life of someone you know, or maybe um, someone dying and, um, you know, it was maybe a horrible death from our standpoint of, of watching and, and thinking about it. But for the person, it was instantaneous and, you know, they just wake up and all their struggle is over. Um, we don't know. And I think it's probably good we don't know. Um, because if we knew the good things, we'd also have to know the, the things that aren't going to work out. And I think it's better uh, because we have a say in how things go. Uh, free will enters into things a lot. I think it's probably better that we don't know. But it's good for us to remember that there is something happening out there. There are different ways to look at it. There are different opportunities, new challenges maybe. But um, to look at it and say, yep, yeah, boy, um, as my kids would say, that really sucks now. Um, you know, that's not anything that I want to experience right now. So what is it that God is doing? Because even as I'm going through this horrible or hard time right now, God is working something new on the other side. And, um, you know, I pray that I have the, the eyes to see it and the awareness of it when I get there. Spring, one of those seasons. The next big thing for me, of course, we've had the... Uh, We've had a good thaw, that was a couple weeks ago. Then we had uh, snow, which in my thinking growing up in upstate New York was a sugar snow because that's when the you know the sap is really flowing and, um, and you get some of the good maple syrup started. Next big thing for me will be um, Green Day. And uh, there's no date for it, but that's the day when... Uh, it's not that everything starts turning green. It's when you look out and suddenly green is the preponderance of the color that you see. And it takes several weeks. Um, usually green day for me uh, here is uh, somewhere around Earth Day actually in the middle of April. Um, but I, I wait for the, for green day. My best friend in high school and I used to be walking around and looking oh, not quite green day yet. I think we're about a week away. And I think we both still do that. We're not in touch very much but I think we both still do that. Um, so that's the next big event, but getting rid of most of this snow out here, that's pretty powerful. I don't know if you can see the, the backyard from this. I'll, I'll just turn you around so that you can see my urban sanctuary where we will be broadcasting from in a couple of months. So I won't know if you saw this until I'm editing and <laughs> putting this online. If not, it'll just be a blur, but whatever. You know what I'm thinking. There's just a few splotches of snow and ice out there. And uh, yeah, things are going to start perking up pretty soon. Daffodils and the crocus and the snowdrops. And oh boy, hyacinths. I'm really excited. I hope you are too. Wherever you are, I hope you can see past the ugliness of what's going on or the... the uh, muddiness of spring and uh, and look beyond that and know that it's a beautiful swan, not an ugly duckling. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me for this prayerful pause with the pastor. Time to think of something greater than ourselves. Right now, it's thinking beyond what we see, thinking beyond what we experience, and knowing that the beautiful is within this, waiting to be born. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, God bless, be safe, and bye for now.